Hi guys doing and welcome to another Arc Garage video. Today I'm facing a bit of an unusual problem. The new leather seats that I got for my Alfa Romeo 166 triggered the airbag light. The reason behind that is that this passenger seat doesn't have the pressure plate which lets the airbag module know that the seat is occupied. The original seats had them. So uh, what I'm gonna do today, I'm basically going to override the uh, pressure plate and I'm gonna eliminate the airbag light and of course I'm gonna show you the process behind it. Before we start let me just warn you that messing with the airbag system can be dangerous and even deadly so if you are unsure of your skills I'm not gonna encourage you to do this on your own. Now let's hook up the car to a diagnostic tool and let's see uh, what's going on exactly. All right, I'm gonna select this option right here and uh, I'm gonna select this airbag module. Now I'm gonna read out the codes and there is only one scene, resistive passenger pressure sensor intermittent present after impact. Now this is uh, just one of the codes that you might get in regard to the pressure plate. Uh, other ones may include the short circuit uh, and things like that. Now I'm gonna raise the code. Just so uh, you can see that it's essentially impossible to raise until we uh, override the pressure plate. If I go to read codes again, you can see that the code still persists. Here's the original passenger seat from the 166 with a pressure plate. So what I basically did, I measured the resistance with the person sitting on it. And uh, that's what I'm gonna replicate to uh, eradicate the airbag light. I used these two wires from the pressure plate and uh, I basically measure the ohms resistance with my multimeter. So with the 80 kilo person sitting on this passenger seat, I get uh, somewhere around 2.3 K of resistance. So what I'm gonna do, I'm basically gonna use a resistor to replicate that value. So uh, I'm gonna start with this connector that I've cut off from this original seat from its pressure plate and uh, I've got some insulation off from these two wires and I'm basically gonna put 2.3k resistor uh, between these two wires. I'm gonna insulate everything well and uh, that's basically gonna be it. I'm not gonna solder the resistor to these wires mainly because there is no current coming through them uh, so I'm gonna roughly connect them and make sure that everything is nice and tight. The main reason why I told you that uh, you shouldn't do this on your own uh, is because uh, as you could have seen I'm trying to replicate the resistance when the a grown adult is sitting on this seat. Now if you are just trying to turn off the airbag light you actually uh, might do more damage than good if you put the wrong resistance uh, value through these two wires you might be able to eliminate the light but in the event of collision the airbag might not come out so if you put too high of a resistance be between these two wires the uh, airbag is not going to activate uh, it's just gonna think that the pressure plate is uh, active but that there is uh, no one sitting on the seat. Now I got the resistor connected, I'm gonna insulate it. And uh, that should be basically it, however you see I'm gonna test everything with the diagnostic tool and uh, make sure that everything is okay. Another reason why this might be tricky is uh, according to some forms, uh, pressure plate might actually dictate the impact force from the airbag. However, I personally doubt that mainly because the different seating position and uh, 
things like that might uh, affect the value so I really don't think that is the case with the car this old. I'm gonna finish up with the insulation and I'm also gonna add some fabric tape just to make everything nice and tight and uh, to make sure that the wires are not gonna separate from the resistor under the seat I gotta be careful not to uh, break the connection and that is basically it so uh, here's our connector with the resistor that's gonna solve our issue Here's the uh, connector that goes straight to the airbag module. Now the main reason why I cut off the connector from the pressure plate is just so I can simply plug it in. I'm just gonna push it under the seat for right now before uh, I can make sure that everything works uh, well. After that I'm gonna secure the wires. I got everything plugged in, I'm gonna turn the ignition on. Now the airbag light is still there, let's see what the diagnostic tool uh, tells us. I'm gonna raise the codes, now the last time that I did this, uh, when I went to read the codes, the code was still there. Now let's see what's gonna happen. No fault codes detected. And as you can see right here, the airbag light is off. So uh, that would be it for this video. As I said in the beginning, uh, I do not encourage you to do this on your own unless you are uh, sure in your skills uh, if you like this video hit a like button and uh, support our channel by subscribing and by sharing our content with the rest of car enthusiasts